Mr Speaker, uh, we, are, we are a rich country, we are the world's fifth largest economy and we have international obligations and it is right that we meet them. In 2020 we were the third highest donor to overseas development in the OECD in absolute terms and the sixth highest as a proportion of gross uh, national income. Um, we have welcomed thousands of people to this country from Syria, Afghanistan, Ukraine and Hong Kong. And whether it's through the government and the taxpayer or through people opening their homes, we have seen the great generosity of the British people. Indeed, I would say that Gary Lineker was correct today to write, as he did on Twitter, that we are a country of predominantly tolerant, welcoming and generous people. But where he, I think he is wrong, and I think people on the opposing argument are wrong, uh, is that he ignores that that tolerance can be tested yeah. yes. and that generosity, while it is deep, it is not limitless. Yeah. Yeah. I take a rather hawkish view on immigration. I think that immigration should be in the tens of thousands rather than the hundred thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I myself have been surprised by the depth of feeling of Gedling residents on this issue. If I hold a supermarket surgery or if I knock on people's doors, what will be raised with me unprompted, if it's not potholes, it's the issue of boats and migrants. And I think the, the, the depth of that feeling is understandable given the context. Albania is a top nationality for small boat arrivals at 25 per cent. And, um, and Albania, compared with other countries, is perhaps uh, not one of the major uh, countries facing international issues which uh, re, um, for which people are uh, requesting asylum. Mm -hmm. And while there are pull factors, including language and shared history, uh, the passage through multiple safe countries yeah. of um, asylum seekers undermines the idea that yeah. the system that we have is one of fair, of yes. based on fairness. Absolutely. The asylum caseload has doubled since 2014, and an increasing burden on the system is, I think, unfair to those already within the system awaiting a decision. Yeah. We have seen uh, from te numerous television folk pictures that the arrivals across the channel are mainly male, um, whereas I think it would be commonly understood that it is mainly women and children who are the most vulnerable. Um, and it is also wrong, I think, that asylum claims should be granted after a cross-channel um, migration that puts the role of the smuggler as a de facto part of the asylum process. Yeah, exactly. And I think it is therefore right uh, that we uh, tackle this issue robustly, and I think I can put it no better than the person who put an anonymous note through my door throughout the weekend, who said, Dear Mr Randall, I implore you to vote to stop this vile trade. It has to stop, and you and your fellow MPs can make it happen. Well, today, Mr Speaker, I think we can make it happen, and we must stop this vile trade. Yeah.